Do you want to set up OBS and want to know everything about scenes? What are scenes? How do you use them? How do you switch scenes? And much more. My name is Tui and I make stream support videos. Scenes smarter, not harder. Before we begin, I want to thank our sponsor, Owned.pro. Owned.pro has a free plan and a pro plan. With the free plan, you can get stream labels, copyright free music, you can get five overlays, five free alerts, a chatbot, and PayPal donations. And with the pro plan, you get access to so many overlay packs that you can install really, really easily on your OBS. And you know what the cool thing about this all is? You can get 50% off by using code tree. Link is down below in the description. Awesome, so let's jump into it. This is how OBS looks like. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about scenes. Scenes is the thing you see right here in the bottom. So what are scenes? Scenes are things you wanna use for different purposes. So for example, you have a scene with your gameplay and your camera, and you have a scene with just your camera. If we switch to my normal scene collection, which is a collection of scenes, we can see that here the away screen has an end on it. And if we go to another scene, like the starting soon screen, then we see that it will say starting soon. We also have the gameplay scene, the full camera scene and stuff like that. So this is how you use a scene. You have different purposes for one scene. Okay, let's go back to the clean one. As you see, I have made a couple scenes here already for different tutorials. Uh, so we can delete them. We don't really need them anymore. So we cannot delete the last scene because you know, we need at least one scene. Okay, in a scene, you can add sources. You see them here. Sources are your microphone audio, your desktop audio, your VR back screen itself, your camera, um, your gameplay. There's a lot of different things you can add here that are part of sources and all the sources together form a scene. You can even add another scene in the sources section. So let's say we have two scenes. I am adding a second scene and I want an image in here, for example. So here we go. I've added this image. Uh, let's make it like full screen. It's my YouTube image. So if we go to scene one, we see that this scene is empty right now. What we can do is we can add the same image by going to image and editing it. But if you want to have this exact scene where we have maybe more than just this image in to be copied to scene one, we could actually add a scene as well. So now we add scene two and we see it, it copies the scene. They're exactly the same right now. But if we add something in scene two, uh, let's add another image, say this one. Let's make it small so you can see there too. And we go back to scene one, you can see that it exactly copied scene two. So this is a way to actually just copy another scene. A way of using this is putting all your alerts in one scene and then copying this scene with all your alerts to another scene where you want to use it. So for example, if you have Tiltify alerts because you're doing charity streams, but also have stream elements alerts or owned alerts on, you can all put them in one scene and copy them in one go without having to add all of them in that one scene, you want to use them every time. Another good use of this is adding scary alerts with Leon board. If you want to add them, you need to add them to OBS. But if you have like a lot of different sound effects in your normal scene, this will be a little bit cluttered. So if you make a scene with just sound effects in it, you will be able to add them really quickly like that. And you don't have to set up the own board for every scene, which is really convenient. <laughs> if you want to set up sound alert with channel points, I do have a video about how to do that right here. Like I said before, I have a scene collection called Tree Stream. This is basically just another save. So now we have these scenes, but if I go here, you don't see these scenes that we just made, but we see the scenes that we already had here. So we can just switch in between. It's good to do if for example, you have two different kind of streams, or maybe you have one for Christmas, one for Easter, one normal one, or something like that. Or maybe every Friday you do something special. Then for example, you can have two scene collections where you switch in between and you can keep your normal scene collection as it is. We're also using a different one. For example, we have one here uh, and we're gonna rename this to uh, webcam. And then here we have one, um, we're gonna rename this to gameplay. We're going to have some gameplay instead of these and this one we're going to remove. So here, this is going to be our webcam. I'm going to add our webcam real quick. If you can't follow along with adding the webcam and gameplay, make sure to watch this video with the OBS basics. Let's add to the scene at 20 in here. Boom. This is the webcam scene. Here we go. 
We've got our gameplay. So we added our gameplay scene and we've got a webcam scene with just a webcam. We can also have a BR back screen and stuff like that, but I was just gonna show it with two scenes because that's enough for a tutorial. Okay, what we want to do is we want to switch in between these scenes. You can do that by just clicking on them and you will switch. They will automatically switch live as well. You see this button here, studio mode. If you click on that and switch then, this will be what you see on Twitch or YouTube or any anywhere you're streaming to, the program. And this is just a preview. So you can start uh, putting the webcam somewhere else without them seeing it yet because it's not on the right side yet. As soon as we click on studio mode again, you will go to the live footage again. And if we switch in studio mode, it will not switch on the right. So you just need to switch live. Another way of switching scenes is with shortcuts on your keyboard, for example. We can do that by going to settings, hotkeys. If we scroll down a bit, we see gameplay. This is the gameplay scene, switch to scene. So we can set one, numpad one, for example, and for webcam, numpad two. If we click on apply and okay, now I press numpad one on my keyboard, we're going to this gameplay scene. I press two, we're going to this scene. So one, going back, two, going back here. And the downside of doing it with the keyboard shortcuts is that sometimes in games you have the same shortcut and it will do something in games. For example, I've done one and two when I was going to play Fortnite and then it was switching my weapons. So that was not a good <laughs> that was not a good hotkey for me. But you can always do it with shift or something combined, and that will work and you can be able to like switch scenes like this. An easier way of doing it is doing it with a stream deck. With the stream deck, you can't have the mistake of having the same shortcuts as in game. So what we need to do for that is we either buy a Stream Deck or have the Stream Deck app on a phone. And then I'm gonna show you how this works. So you install the software from the Stream Deck and here you see all kinds of buttons. We can switch scenes by going to this OBS section and then scene. And if we set the scene on clean, because this is the scene collection we're using right now, like I said before, the one I normally use is Tree Stream, but right now we're using the clean one because this is just a tutorial. And then we want it to switch to webcam. And then we title this webcam. You can also give it an image to make it more clearly. And then we bring one more in and then this is game. This needs to be gameplay. Okay, if we make this smaller now, we can see, we can press the buttons on the stream deck to game and webcam. Game and webcam. You can see that it switches just like the shortcuts. However, the shortcuts won't interfere with anything else you're doing on a computer. Another thing you want to know about scenes is between the scene switching, you have a transition. Right now, it's just a fade, and you can see that here. Scene transition, fade. We can set this on anything here. Slide, for example. Okay. Now it slides. But what we can also do is we can set it on Stinger. And now here we can browse a file and actually put a file of our own over it. And then when the file passes by, there will be a transition going on. So you can have a transition of your own that you made yourself. I do have a video about that, which goes a little bit deeper into it right here. So make sure to click on that if you want to see more about the transitions. I'd love to know if you guys have more questions about scenes. I do have a whole playlist about OBS here. If you have any questions or want to suggest tutorials, leave them down in the comments below. And we're going to go to this playlist all about OBS and how you can set it up. So see you there.